Hello and welcome to our channel Maintenance Point. So today we are back again with a new video that is the topic of heat exchanger. So please like, share and subscribe to the channel for more amazing videos. So let us move to our topic. So first is definition of heat exchanger. So an heat exchanger is an equipment which reduces the temperature of a medium by transferring its heat to another medium where both the mediums are separated by a solid membrane or wall like structure. Or in other words, we can say that it is an equipment which is used for transferring of thermal energy of one fluid into the another fluid, having a medium of separation between them. So this is the simple definition of heat exchanger where it is used to reduce the temperature of one fluid with the help of a coolant medium. So now the next is types of heat exchanger. So to determine the type of heat exchanger, there are two bases. The first is on the basis of flow and the second is on the basis of design. So on the basis of flow, we have the three types of heat exchanger. The first is cross flow. So in cross flow, the heat exchanger, the flow of one of the fluid is perpendicular to the flow of the second fluid. Here in this figure, you can see that this is the first fluid and this is the second fluid. So both are perpendicular to each other. So they are cross flow heat type of heat exchanger. In the parallel flow, we have the both of the fluids are in the same direction. So here the, this is for fluid 1 and this is the fluid 2. So both are flowing in the same direction. They are also known as concurrent flow. Then third we have the opposite flow. So in which the both the fluids are running in opposite direction. So here you can see one of the fluid is moving from left to right and the other is from right to left. It is also known as counter current flow. Next we have on the basis of design. So on the basis of design we have two types of heat exchanger. The, which is mostly talked about and which is generally uh, asked in the question of uh, any interview. The first is cell and tube heat exchanger and the second is plate type heat exchanger. So let us discuss about cell and tube heat exchanger. So it is a type of heat exchanging device consisting of tubes and cell in which the water or the fluid which needs to be cooled flows inside the cell and the cooling media flows out inside the tube. So here the two things need to be understood that is the cooling media that is the coolant flows inside the tube and the liquid which needs to be cooled flows inside the cell so in this pictorial representation you can see this is the coolant so we, it is going in inside the tubes and it is exiting and while it is entering it is cold and while it in the way it takes heat of the second fluid and gets hot and it exited exit the heat exchanger in the similar way you can see the coolant the liquid which is being cooled is entered from this side and it is exiting the heat exchanger from this side so cell and tube type has a baffle plate also fitted across uh, across the tubes which guide the liquid through the tube and it is also fitted with sacrificial anode to prevent the corrosive effect now in most of the interview questions or in the examinations it is asked that what are the functions of the baffle plates so the baffle fluids guide the liquid through the tube as you can see here in the diagram as well so it is guiding the fluid through the, across the heat exchanger then it provides support for the tubes it also provides support to the tubes then it prevent any vibration so of course it is providing support so it will prevent any vibration then it helps in efficient cooling so it is since it is acting as a guiding path so it is increasing the flow increasing the path area that is this or we can say increasing the surface area that comes in touch with the these tubes so that is uh, efficient in that will increase the efficiency in cooling next we have it is the maintaining the spacing between the tubes so it the baffle plates also helps in maintaining the spacing between the tubes next we have the plate type heat exchanger so plate type heat exchangers are made of assembly of identical plate placed together the plates have the horizontal or chevron corrugations. So you, here in this figure you can see these are the various plates. These are placed together to form a plate type heat exchanger. So uh, one important thing is that the plates have a horizontal or chevron corrugations. So why the, they are having the corrugations? So it will provide stiffness to the plate. Stiffness in the sense that we can use a thinner material for having a uh, good amount of uh, uh, strength which can hold, which stand the pressure that is being generated in this plate type heat exchanger and moreover it also increases the surface area which will ultimately helps in efficient cooling 
the working space of the plates are sealed by the nitrile rubber so these ends are sealed with the nitrile rubbers and the sealing are done in such a way that in ev the one fluid flows in every alternate plates which means that here you can see one is blue then other is red then one is blue then other is red which means that in one plate we have the cold fluid then the, uh, in the next we have hot then uh, again we have cold fluid then again we have the hot so this sequence goes on till the last so this is the uh, arrangement of plate type heat exchanger you can see the various parts named out here so where we use the heat exchanger on board so when we to for a smooth running of the main engine it is important that the view well and the fuel should have an adequate viscosity so for that we need to have a proper temperature across the view well and fuel which is done by passing it through the heat exchanger and then uh, in the cooling when we use the cooling jacket water so to so to cool the engine parts we use the jacket cooling water and uh, after that uh, after it takes the heat from the engine it is again passed through the heat exchanger to get it cooled again for recirculating and in the air starting system the higher pressure air is passed through an intercooler which is also a type of heat exchanger and in refrigeration system also the evaporator is also a type of heat exchanger a special type of heat exchanger known as phase changing heat exchanger But to know in more uh, detail about the heat exchanger you can visit our website marinas.14 where we have written a article on it uh, in detail so you can go and visit the link will be provided in the description below and if you do like this video please share and subscribe our channel for more amazing videos